So a lot of people are looking a little farther into space. The featured story in National Geographic's Space Issue is a look at the Google Lunar X Prize competition and how individuals are paving the way for space travel. Marcus Shingles is the CEO of the X Prize Foundation. He's brought along some really cool devices that are maybe headed for the moon. Marcus, good to see you. Good uh, morning. Hi, Thank Give you. me the crib notes on the on the X Prize. Sure. Yeah. So X Prize is a, a nonprofit that uses incentive competitions that we leverage with twenty, thirty million dollar prize purses to spark innovation to solve some of humanity's grandest challenges. You asked people to design something that could be a moon rover. You got a lot of different projects working. Some people might hear, why are we developing a moon rover? We've been to the moon, we've done that. What's sure. your answer to that? Sure, so this is the $30 million Google Lunar X Prize. And the reason we're looking at the moon is because the moon is the, the, the hub for new space, for space exploration. There's a lot of minerals on the moon, there's fuel on the moon, the gravity is one sixth that of the Earth's gravity, so we can use that as a launch pad to the rest of the universe. And you're trying to promote individual innovation, private companies, private groups funding things like yeah, this. Yeah, that's very important. I mean, the only uh, entities that have ever landed on the moon are today are three countries, uh, Soviet Union, the U.S., and China. Right. So after spending tens of billions of dollars, what we're trying to do now is spark innovation where the machines you see here today are anywhere from $75 million to $10 million. So it's bringing the cost down significantly. From what I understand, we got three of the five yeah. final projects here. Three of the five. Talk about this one here, because this one seems different than the other two. Yeah, so that's interesting because the, the requirements for winning the, the, the competition, you have to land on the moon, you have to travel 500 meters, and you have to send back high definition video and pictures. And so the strategy with Moon Express here out of Cape Canaveral, Florida, is to actually land on the moon, but you notice this is different. It doesn't have wheels because the way they're going to accomplish the requirements to go the 500 meters, they're going to try to hop after they land. So that's why you see their structure is conducive for that. Uh, this one over here is planning to land, go up on a rocket, obviously, and then move yes. through the wheels. Yeah, this is uh, uh, out of uh, Japan, uh, Team Hakodo, and this is expert. The, the real innovation here is the miniaturization of technology uh, to produce this type of technology that can get and land on the moon. How are they powered? Just all solar power? Yeah, and solar powered and other forms of energy. Um, the thing that's interesting about Go this. Ahead, walk over sure. There. So the thing that's interesting about the competition is this. Uh, this is Team Indus out of India, and Japan uh, is actually hitching a ride on the space rocket that's going to launch, and they're both going to share that, and then they're going to share the uh, space craft that's going to land on the moon and then they're going to have a race to do the 500 meters. They're not going to go at it right here in the studio I don't know, or anything maybe. like that, are they? It seems like that television show I've seen. When is the deadline for these entries to be finalized and submitted? Yeah, so the deadline is uh, March 31st at midnight of 2018. That's that's when the competition will officially end. As a, as a kid who was a complete space geek, I love this. Exciting I stuff, really isn't do. It? It's fantastic. Yes. Marcus, good to see you. Pleasure, Matt. Thank and you. And congratulations to the teams who've come this far. Absolutely. And again, you can learn more about these projects in the new space issue of National Geographic. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.